What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap guys, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, at CouchPotato1898, link is down there in the description. So guys, today's mod showcase brings us to the Elder Gleam Sanctuary, and guys, this is super freaking cool. So what this mod is, is first, let me show you where I'm at. We are right here, guys. Elder Gleam Sanctuary. You got Broken Limb Camp, Krong Vagar Cave, Mistwatch, Darkwater Goat Path, all of these places. It's directly south, probably southwest a little bit of uh, Windhelm. It's right inside of here, guys. So what is this mod, guys? Well, this mod is a player home down inside of the Elder Gleam Sanctuary. That is right, guys. Absolutely crazy. I would never expected to have seen a player home all the way down in the deepest depths of this uh, Elder Gleam Sanctuary. But here it is, guys. Right here. You can go ahead and read all that stuff for yourself if you want to. But do note that the first thing you should me that the first thing he mentions is uh, this house requires a key, and I'll show you exactly where the key is at. But uh, all of this stuff is inside of the house, guys. So without further ado. Let's get into it. So, in order to find the key, you come around to this corner right here. You got a bench. Here's the right side of the house. And you take the barrel, and you take the key. Wonderful. So, let's do a little bit of exploring outside first. Who the hell are these people? Well, truthfully, I don't know. Let's talk to them. Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. I agree. What you is this place? Gleam sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? It's always been beautiful. And that tree, is yes, that the Elder friend. Gleam? Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Why not? As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. Interesting. Where can I find such oh, a weapon? I don't believe those rumors, my friend. Besides, who would ever want to harm such beauty? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have nothing more to discuss. That was I rude. I encourage you to take your time and enjoy yourself. You look like you could use the rest. Are you saying I look tired? Tired just means old. Alright, so guess what? We got a dang smithy area out here, guys. Check this out. We got a blacksmith forge. We got a guy using our grindstone. <laughs> got a workbench. Very, very cool. There's the Elder Gleam tree right there, guys. We'll be inside here soon, away from the waterfall sounds, but damn, they are loud. Alright, down here looks like what we got. Fish barrels. We got our own fishing pond. Look at that. What is this? A fish hatchery? Oh, cool. That's kind of nifty. That's actually really cool. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. All right. So the outside is absolutely gorgeous. A oh, <laughs> whoops. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this like little like natural hot steam right here. That's super cool. And it looks like you can have like a, a walkway up to the the elder gleam. Uh, the elder gleam. Say <laughs> that six times fast, but that is super cool. Absolutely really neat. Got a nice little walkway back here. Check this out. Nice little bridge that comes down along the water. Such a beautiful area. And we got birds in here. <laughs> All right. Well, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and head into the Elder Gleam Sanctuary House. Oh, it's so nice inside of here. Look at this. So it has dynamic clutter, which, ah, you know, I'm more of a fan of the static clutter, but hey. All the stuff for me to take is right there, so good stuff. Looks like we got some nice strong boxes. Anything in there? Oh, okay. I'll take some gold. What about right here? I'll take some of that too. Perfect. What about inside of here? Okay, yeah, I'll take all that good stuff. Wonderful. So very, very cool, guys. Look at this. We got a nice little armory back here. Got a nice wardrobe with some fine clothes and clothes inside of it already. Got some working display cases. Awesome. You know how I love my display cases. Got some nice mannequins, some weapon racks. Very, very cool. Nice little kitchen. I love the decor. So dang pretty. What is back here? Are those Daedra hearts? Oh, <laughs> holy crap. If you need if you need every single freaking alchemical ingredient, come to this house. Good lord. 
Okay, it looks like there's a basement. Yep, there's a cellar. We'll come back to that. Come on, dwarven luggage, get out of the way. Thank you. All right, let's see. I assume this is the bedroom up here. Oh, baby. Yes, it is. Look at all the freaking storage, guys. Whoa. Ebony sword of subsuming. They're both ebony swords of subsuming. Ebony vase. Ebony mace of the vampire. Good lord. So this place has some... Oh, wait. Will respawn. Don't store items. Okay. Noted. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my god, I got a bowl full of gems. Holy Jesus. This place is kind of nice. This place will set you up quite nicely. Enchanter. Very nice. Weapon or armor mannequins. Oh, I got some nice little treats inside of my room. And here is the Elder Gleam house safe key. That's kind of cool. Oh my god, I'll take it all. Thank you. <laughs> what do we got in this one? Holy Jesus, I'll take it too. Oh my goodness, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so the top is really, really pretty. You know, what I like about this place, it's quaint. It's small. I mean, it's not too small. It's a pretty decently large house, but it has everything you need and more, guys. Let's see what's down here in the cellar. Oh, snap. You got your own grow beds down here. Look at this. It looks like there's like some natural lighting in the ceiling. That's kind of cool. The cheeky mod author hid the uh, <laughs> hid the lighting in the ceiling. I like that. That's super freaking cool. Look at this place, guys. We got some nice little alchemical ingredients down here and some more barrels. Wow. I kind of like this. And listen how quiet it is. You don't hear anything. That's so cool. I love that. Oh my goodness. So... Just your simple house, you know, guys. It has everything that you could ever possibly need to run a, a successful, like, survivor in Skyrim, you know? It's got, uh, it's got a kitchen, it's got a farm, it's got the blacksmithing area, it's got an armory, it's got a bedroom, guys. That's pretty much everything that you need. And there it gives the added bonus of being in one of the most beautiful places in Skyrim. Let's take a look at this at, uh, at like a bird's eye view. Let's take a look at this. Player cheats, toggle collision. Let's take a look at this, guys. Just go ahead and do this, and we'll come back up, and bam! Look at this, guys! Beautiful! Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I freaking love this, guys. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off today's mod showcase right here, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, Follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. And I will see you guys in the next video.